as a female entrepreneur, you've got a lot on your plate, right? There's so many things that you have to be juggling. Today, we're going to talk about if it's time for you to leave the dishes in the sink. That'll make more sense in a minute. If we haven't met, my name's Amy Circa. I'm your go-to money confidence coach for making money simple with straight to the point strategies. So what the heck do I mean by is it time to leave the dishes in the sink? So like I said, you're a female entrepreneur. You're doing all the things. You have all of these responsibilities. You got to take care of the house. You have to take, you have to run the business. There's just life that happens, right? And then of course we homeschool as well. So then I have homeschooling thrown into the mix. There is a lot of responsibilities on your plate, a lot of fires to put out and a lot of things calling your name. So my signature managing time management productivity system that I created One of the things when I was going through and creating that, that I discovered was I knew what I needed to be doing because, you know, I use the system, right? Use the planner, put it together. I knew what I needed to be working on, but I wasn't actually doing it. And why is that? One of the things was I would see dishes in the sink and then I would just go work on that instead. Instead of doing the thing that I needed to do, I was working on that fire, whatever felt urgent in the moment instead of what was actually important. So you have to set parameters so you're actually working on the things that are important, not just urgent, both in your business and in life. But let's talk your business. You have to set timeframes where this, the life stuff, especially when you work from home, the life stuff doesn't matter during these times. So for myself, I make sure I take care of the kitchen, empty the sink, you know, do those things, do the dishes by, well, this is changing right now. So as of... My old schedule, it was once by 10 a.m. Like we got everybody ready, morning stuff, breakfast, fed everybody. That all had to be done by 10 a.m. And once that was done, it didn't matter how many dishes got put in the sink. I have four kids. They are homeschooled. They, we eat a lot. Okay. Well, they snack all day long. So there, it can end up that there'll be a lot of dishes in the sink, but you have to train yourself to ignore those urgent things. Let go of whatever that might be. And then later, so five o'clock when it's time for me to done, be done working, we're switching into, you know, working on dinner. I will take care of everything that piled up in the sink, either while I'm working on dinner. And if it doesn't happen then because we're busy, that's fine. By the end of the night, at some point when we clean the kitchen, we'll take care of everything. And you know what? We still get to wake up in the morning and have a clean kitchen for a minute before, you know, breakfast and everything else starts. It's not the end of the world because it's not actually important. It just feels urgent. We have to train ourselves to look at the things that are actually going on. That's important, not just urgent. So that's what I want you to focus on today. Let me know what is something that is important important that you need to make time for. You keep saying, oh, I don't have time to, you know, pitch these podcasts. I don't have time to do podcast guesting. I don't have time to do collaborations. I don't have time to write this workshop, whatever it might be, or you don't have time to work on your QuickBooks. There'll be more of that next week. I think it is. What are you not making time for because of for letting the urgent stuff come up? So what's the important thing that you're going to make time for? And we're going to ignore the urgent. Let me know either in the comments below or send me a message on Instagram at Amy Circa. We'll see you next time.